Are you running out of hope? I have a word for you today, and we're going to start in Job chapter 3, verse 26. So please listen as I read God's word. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet, and I am not at rest, but turmoil comes. Job spoke these words thousands of years ago, and yet I believe they ring true for so many people today. I'm thinking of those who really are running out of hope, who maybe feel like you've already reached your last hope. And as I'm reading through the book of Job, it's it's kind of a heavy book to read, and yet we can learn so much from it. And I think there is so much hope in Job's story. When he said these words, it was after he had lost his ten children, he lost all of his possessions, his cattle, his sheep, his camels, everything was taken away in a very brief period of time. And his friends had just come, but Job's grief was so great that they sat with him, I think, for seven days and they didn't say a word. So Job speaks, and this is at the very end of chapter 3, and he is really just grieving the day he was born. He was wishing it never happened because his existence on earth was so full of trouble and trial and suffering and pain and agony. Maybe you feel like that today. Maybe you feel like you can't keep your head above the water any longer. The beautiful hope we see in Job's story is he clung to God. He kept trusting in God and that gives us hope today. Don't give up. Keep trusting. Keep clinging. Keep looking to God. He is good. He is faithful. He will never let you go. If you belong to God through faith in His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, you are safe. No matter what trial you're facing, you can trust God. He is going to remain with you and that's the hope I want to share today. Let me read another verse that comes later in the book of Job. Job 42.10 reads, And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he prayed for his friends, and the Lord increased all that Job had twofold. After all of Job's suffering, this is what happened. God blessed him. He restored everything Job once had, he restored it twofold. I don't know how God is working in your life. I can't make promises and say, this is what's going to happen to you. But I can say, God is good. God is faithful. And He does not ever let go of those who belong to Him. So just hang on. Don't give up. And remember this story of Job. It's so powerful in many ways. But I just want to drive home that point today. Job did not give up on God, and we should never give up either. So if you find yourself in a place of suffering, of trial, of dead ends, and, and not knowing which way to go, just keep trusting the Lord. Find your hope in Him. He is faithful. He is going to bring you through. I also want to say, if you're someone who's at the end of your rope and, and you've lost hope and you do not have peace with God. You, you know you're not reconciled to Him. You don't have the hope of eternal life because of faith in Christ. I want to encourage you to place your faith in Jesus today. He died on the cross. He died for our sins. He was buried and rose on the third day and then He appeared. He's living. He's alive. We just celebrated that in the celebration of Easter. And He is a risen Savior. Place your faith in Him. Be forgiven by God for your sins and receive the gift of eternal life. Turn your eyes to Jesus and find the hope you crave. I trust this message has met you where you're at and that God's Word has touched the broken places of your heart. God is faithful. God is good. And He is a God of hope.